Hello all, welcome to Medical Equipment Explained. If you've ever wondered how the equipment used on you works, this is for you. Today's topic goes by many different names. The sequential compression device, the intermittent pneumatic compression device, or therapy compression device. But from here on out, we'll be referring to it as the sequential compression device. Before we start to understand how this device functions, we should first take a look at its application and uses. The primary use is on patients, usually in the hospital or those who are immobile for extended periods of time. This device helps prevent blood clots from forming, which can be very dangerous. One of the main conditions to form from a blood clot is deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. It's a condition where the vein, usually deep inside the body, develops a clot causing pain and swelling in that area, and then that clot could break away potentially causing other complicated issues. These clots are very serious because depending on where they get stuck, it could even cause death. Say if a blood clot gets lodged in an artery of the lung, it could impair how much blood can be reached to the lungs. Or if a clot lodged in an artery near the brain, this could cause a cerebral embolism and has the potential of causing a stroke. While in the hospital, the device is usually located at the foot of the bed near the feet and legs of the patient. This device is often hanging from the footboard. If we can take a closer look at the device here, we can see some of the indicator lights available to display information. There's a couple of very common types of sleeves. The two most common fit around the calf and the ankle or just around the calf. And now if we take an even closer look inside the device, we can see that there's essentially two pumps to inflate the sleeves on the patient's calf along with a controller board for the pumps and controlling the incoming power either from AC or from battery. When we turn on one of the pumps to inflate the sleeves, the pump will pull air in and push air through to a smaller tubing into the pockets of the sleeves. After the patient has returned to being more mobile, the sleeves can be discarded and generally the tubing between the sleeves and the device are reusable. With all that being said, this is an incredible device which can go by many names.